Hi everyone, I'm Ellie, founder of Code of the Future, and in today's video I'm going to be continuing with the Matplotlib tutorial series for beginners in Python by showing you how you can plot pie charts in Matplotlib. So this is the very last video in this tutorial series. It's been quite a long tutorial series, but that's because there are so many cool things you can do with Matplotlib, and I didn't want to miss out anything in this tutorial series. So I hope you enjoy this final video. As usual, I'm going to put my glasses on and I'll move you onto the screen. Okay, awesome. So we are in the folder that we were in the file that we were in previously this is when we did bar charts in matplotlib so if you're interested in bar charts as well then recommend checking out this video but essentially all of this code up here is everything that i've done as part of this matplotlib tutorial series so if you're interested in learning a whole range more things about matplotlib then i'd recommend checking out this tutorial series i have the videos split up into individual videos and also one large video where i collated all the videos together so enough of that we're going to get into pie charts in matplotlib let's go okay cool so we're going to use an example like the previous section where we had you know toys let's say we have a vehicle company uh, that sells we'll have cars uh, bicycles let's say tractors <laughs> um, and let's say motorbikes okay so we're going to define a variable so let's say vehicles and in this, we're going to have the different vehicles. So we'll have cars, we have bicycles, we have tractors, and we have motorbikes. Okay, so let's say this company has a certain amount of these in stock. So we'll do what we did previously, and we'll just say kind of in stock, how many cars they have in stock on this particular day. So let's say cars, they have 30 cars, let's say bicycles, we'll have more bicycles because a lot more room to store bicycles let's say they have 10 tractors tractors are quite hard to store and let's say we have 37 motorbikes what we can do is we can plot a pie chart of this so i'm going to say plt.py now this is if you've imported plt at the top here so import matplotlib.py plot as plt um, there is a video on my channel explaining how you do that so what we're going to do is we're going to first write in stock. Now this is different to a lot of previous videos where we simply just put vehicles comma in stock, you know, the two variables. But what we're going to say is we're going to say in stock because this is, you know, the numbers we have here. That's how many there are and that's what's going to create our pie chart. Then we're going to say here labels and this is how we know what each section of the pie chart is labeled. And we're just going to say vehicles and I'm just going to run this and we'll see what happens. And I just realized I haven't done a plt.show, so it's not going to run. So we need to remember we need to have plt.show so it will run. We'll click run. Awesome. Look at that. So we've got our very first pie chart and it honestly looks incredible. Now, something to mention with pie charts is that they always start from this section here. So it will always go along this line here and it will go around this way. So notice we have cars, bicycles, tractors, motorbikes. So we have cars, bicycles, tractors, motorbikes. That is that is just the default setting. And the way that you overcome that is by just changing here by saying start angle. And let's say we want it to be at 90 degrees. So here this will be zero degrees. And then round 90, then another 90 is 180, another 90 is 270, and then back to here. So let's say we want it to start from up here at 90 degrees. So we'll just say 90. We'll rerun this. Let's have a look what happens. Awesome. So it started from 90. So we have cars, bicycles, tractors, motorbikes. Cool. So that's how you, you know, change the angle. Now, what I'm going to show you is how you can change the color. So these are obviously default colors in matplotlib, but the way that we can change that is by just creating our own colors variable. So we'll create a list of different colors. So let's say we want cars. Let's say we want red for cars. Let's say for bicycles, we want orange. Let's say for tractors, we want, whew, let's say green. And then for motorbikes, let's say, we'll say blue. I haven't just copied, no, we've changed it around. Okay, and then in here, all you're gonna say is your color is gonna equal the variable that we assign. So colors here. So we've got color equal colors. Now, if I rerun this, Notice how the colours are. We've got an unexpected Q argument colour. That is because I've spelt colour wrong. I've spelt it with the U. That is the British version of how you spell colour. And PyCharm works with American spelling. So that's just something to bear in mind. Ah, we've still got an error. Ah, I put colour instead of colours. So it needs to know what kind of colours you're going to input here. 
there we go because obviously you can't have one color because the entire thing would be th that entire color okay there we go so it's changed the colors around for us how cool is that so you now we've learned how to plot a pie, tr a pie chart and assign different colors and also you know it's labeled it automatically for us another argument we can put into this plt.py and i'm just gonna put it here and we'll, we'll add it down so we're just gonna put a comma and enter so this will still you know the the commas the brackets here are still together all i'm going to say is shadow equals true now you may wonder what this does and i will show you it's very simply just going to add a little shadow so you can see it on the outside of here so it kind of looks 3d and the reason why this is helpful is when you then take sections away and i'll show you how you do that now so what you can do is you can take say motorbikes and we can move it away so we can take this section here and it can be kind of moved that way and the, the rest of the pie chart remains quite simply like a pie like someone's just taken a piece of pie out of you know out of the pie so the way that you do that is i'll call it section out and that just means that this is how much each section will be away from the center so let's say we want the first section so let's say we want cars to be out by let's say 0.1 and then the rest will stay in now you're probably wondering what is going on here and I, it will all make sense when we plot so let's say the rest of them, so bicycles, tractors and motorbikes want to be zero. So they're just going to stay here and this is going to move out by 0.1. OK, now we can add in here plt.py. All you're going to say is explode is my section out. So explode means, you know, you can explode this this graph. You can make it bigger. Um, explode simply means you can break it apart. So I will rerun and we'll see what happens. OK, cool. Look at that. So notice how here a section has come out. So let's say I want to do the same with all of them. We'll say we'll move them all out by 0.1 and I will rerun and hopefully they'll all be exploded out. Look at that. How cool is that? Now that is awesome. Let's say you want to you know, take two of them apart. So let's say your biggest sellers are your cars and, and motorbikes. So let's say your cars and motorbikes, we're just going to keep there and then the rest are going to be expanded out. And notice the shadow really adds this element of 3D. Okay, so here let's notice what's happened. So it's taken it apart slightly, but the issue is because of where the shadows are at, it kind of doesn't look as cool. So I would recommend if you're going to take a section out, take it out either here or here, um, or just take it out even further. So, you know, we could take this out by 0.3 and this out by 0.3, and hopefully this will make it look, there we go, a little bit better. But as I said, where shadows come in, you know, it does change things slightly. So make sure, you know, it looks a little bit better. So I'll set all these back to 0.1 because I think it looks so cool. And, you know, as I said, what's worth remembering is to add the shadows in here. I'll show you what it looks like with the shadows and without. So the shadows add this sense of, of 3D to it. I will take out the shadow section. So let's say shadows are false. And we'll rerun. Now it looks cool. I just don't think it looks as cool as, you know, when you have the shadows in. So <laughs> we're going to keep the shadows in for now and we'll rerun. Awesome. That's so cool. So that is how you do a very, very cool looking pie chart in Matplotlib. What I'm going to show you now is how you can do a legend. Um, now, if any of you know, I love a good legend. So we're going to add one in now is you simply just add a plt dot legend. And we can run this and a little legend will appear up here. So notice that it has, obviously, it's overlapping here. We can overcome that. Now, something that, this is something that always works with the legend, this is something that always works with the legend, and it's by saying lock, and you can basically assign where you want your legend. So let's say upper right. Now, what you'll notice with this specific plot, okay, is it does, you know, it's moved it back. So we'll just do upper, let's do upper left. Change it to a different area, so upper left. Okay, so it's moved it. Now, you may think, well, it hasn't really improved because we can't see what's going on here. Um, it's still blocking part of my pie chart. You could either completely get rid of your labels and just have your legend, or we can use something which is called bbox to anchor. And all you're going to assign is the variable at which you want, you know, where about, whereabouts on your screen you want it. So the way that we do that is we'll just put here, so let's say, 1.15 and 1.15 which is going to be in the top corner we'll rerun this okay so it's completely off the screen now maybe a little bit too far but when i zoom out you can see it there so have a play around with this and get it set up perfect for you that's how you kind of 
move your legend and then finally you can add you could just simply add a little title so we can say vehicles and it will add a title so i'll just move this to the x let's move that to maybe one point not five and see if it moves back over to the x slightly okay perfect look at that so we've got our final pie chart we have vehicles cars bicycle tractors and the entire pie chart looks perfect how amazing is that so that has been the video today i hope you enjoyed it if you did then please give this video a big thumbs up and if you want to support the channel even further then hit the subscribe button and the bell notification with it so you don't miss out on any future videos and also check out the donation link in the description of this video but for now i will see you all in the next video